Howdy everybody. For today's training tip, I just want to talk to you a little bit about Frenchy Boy back behind me. He's in a round pen and as you can see, he's ground tying. Now whether he stays ground tied this entire video or not, I'm not sure. This is the first time I've actually seen if he can ground tie in the middle of a round pen. But I want to talk to you about Frenchy Boy and how important it is if you have yearlings, if you have weanlings, weanlings, yearlings, anything that's not rideable yet, like Frenchy Boy, he's just a yearling. He's a really nice off, or he's a really nice thoroughbred that's going to be a racehorse. And uh, he he came to me for some basically obedience training from some some respect training, and to get him so he could load in a trailer, pick up his feet, and be nice and and gentle. And he's certainly moving that way very quickly. I've had him for two weeks, and going to probably have him for a couple more weeks, uh, and then he'll eventually go out to California and and be and race probably once he once he turns two or or more. So he's. It's important if you have a horse that's as young as Frenchy Boy, even even weanlings, anything you know over six months old, anything that's off of the the mare, and even when they're on the mare, that you can do things with them, do some groundwork with them, and get them used to humans. And when they're when they've been weaned, you can help them by doing all the groundwork in preparation for riding. When I do all the groundwork in preparation for riding with Frenchy Boy here, which he's basically gotten to, I even saddled him yesterday with a small saddle just to get him used to the girth get him used to the stirrups, I put a bridle on him, get him used to a bit in his mouth, and all of that is gonna make him a very, very nice horse to sell when he comes two, year, two years old and a nice horse to race, because he's not gonna be afraid of anything. He's not gonna be afraid of a jockey on his back. He's not gonna be afraid of a human on the ground. He's gonna be respectful to that human. He's gonna lead forward when he, they ask him to. He's gonna back up when they ask him to. He's gonna get on the trailer when they ask him to. He's gonna be very, very, a very nice horse to work work around. And the, the reason is because I'm able to work with him on the ground before, you know, he's of rideable age. So anybody that tells you that a horse can't be uh, worked on the ground before they're two or before they're rideable, uh, that, that's just simply, in my experience, not true. You could do a lot of work. I do liberty work with him. I've done all my round pinning with him. He can, he can lope on a lunge line so I can lunge him left, lunge him right, and he can pick up the correct leads at a walk, trot, and canter, whatever I ask him to to do he'll slow right back down to a trot slow right back down to a walk if he is cantering uh, and then i can pick him up again and ask him to lope and he he's got the correct lead he's he's just a very a collected very responsive and not reactive horse i can laterally flex on the ground without him moving his feet i can counter flex on the ground without him moving his feet i can do all of the work after lunging i can do lead beside i can do forward bending hind quarter yields four quarter yields side passing now he's thinking about maybe walking off or maybe rolling. Um, but um, what else? Side passing. I can back him up all with the four different ways. I can use ice cream cone method to back him up. And yep, there he goes to roll down. Roll. And that's totally fine. That's awesome. Uh, so I, I can, I've just got him in such good condition mentally that he's going to be a really nice horse to, to sell. His owner's going to sell him and, and uh, he's going to go on to race. And if you have a horse that's not rideable yet make sure that you go and you learn those fundamental groundwork exercises that are so vital to a horse learning how to be responsive and not reactive to you on the ground when they learn that it makes them such an such an easy horse to ride uh, he's basically i told her his owner i told her i'm going to get him i'm going to get him ready to ride without riding him that's that's my goal with him including being able to pick up his feet trim his feet and have no issues with that I'm really excited about him. Um, thanks for watching everybody and, and make sure to work with your horses that are under two years old. Anything that's that's been weaned, make sure to work with them, get them to where they're nice and responsive and uh, and not, not afraid of you, but they respect you and you're gonna have a much better horse in the future. Hope you guys have a great day.